Thank you for stopping by the channel and clicking that thumbnail. Now today we're going to be making some cream style corn. Now we got to get these kernels moved from that cob. So we're going to cut down that cob on all four sides, right? And as we get, you know, these kernels off this cob, we're going to have a nice harvest of some sweet corn. Now corn is in season right now and this is a perfect time to make some cream style corn. So we got our corn right Look at that. That looks absolutely delicious. All right, focus fam. So we got four ears of corn already cut down and that's enough for, you know, a medium saucepan, right? Medium sauce pot. So what I'm gonna do, I got four more ears of corn because I'm gonna take this recipe. My family loves to eat and we're gonna make it a little bit bigger, but this will be enough, you know, for a small family. Now you see that right there? That's all that nice little, you know, sweet corn juice. So you can, you know, if you got a lot of this on your cutting board, you know, gather that up and put that in your pan because that's going to be absolutely delicious. All right. So let's get to this. Now we got a cup of half and half. And this is like a tablespoon of, you know, corn starch, right? Because we want that thing to thicken up at, you know, some point. So we're just going to get this corn starch, you know, mixed up in here. And then, like I said, you want to have all your ingredients prepared, you know, while you're cooking, because this isn't going to take long to do. We're going to pour this in that cast iron. And then we're going to bring this cast iron up to like a medium, you know, heat, because, you know, when that cast iron gets to going, it's going to start, you know, cooking, right? You don't want that thing to be too hot, but you want it to be hot enough, right? It's hard to bring those cast irons back down. We're going in with a cup of milk. Got two tablespoons of sugar. And then we got two tablespoons of butter. Now, what we want to do is we want to keep this mixture moving, right? So we're going to get us a little stir while we let that butter, you know, melt down. And then we're going to bring this up to like a light boil. But you don't want nothing to burn, right? So you want to, you know... Like I said, keep this bad boy going, keep it moving. And so the beater about cast iron is a cast iron is gonna hold that heat, but here's the key. You cannot have, you know, too high of a heat on cast iron because as that bad boy heats up, it's going to get hot. And then when it gets hot, it's going to be hard to bring that heat down. So we're going to go down to this pan. And as you can see, like I said, we got this on like a medium high heat and it's already, you know, what I'm saying boiling. So we're going to get this bad boy stirred up and we're going to let this cook for about five minutes. And then we're going to introduce that half and half in that you know that corn starch and then that bad boy is gonna be done after we add you know one of our secret ingredients in that bad boy so we're gonna let this cook for five minutes and we'll be right back so it's been five minutes we got these ingredients moved around now we got to put this you know half and half in that corn starch in there right now this is gonna thicken up this cream style corn and then we're gonna bring this back up to a boil right it's gonna be ready to go. Add a little salt, add a little pepper. But that corn starch is gonna thicken this bad boy up. And as you can see right here, like I said, when that cast iron starts to go, that bad boy is gonna go. And like I said, it's not gonna take long for that bad boy to go, <laughs> right? You see it, it's still got the heat on it. And it didn't take long for that, that half and half to hit that boiling. You see how fast I put it in there and then it was you know boiling that's the beauty of cast iron right like I said we're gonna keep this moving keep it stirred and we're gonna let this go for a couple more minutes like I said let this bad boy thicken up and then we're gonna reduce that heat and let it ride right so we're gonna remove this from the heat right and we're gonna let this cool down gently right as you can see like I said look at that bad boy it's already thick enough. So now what we gotta do is we gotta add a secret ingredient, right? And it's this right here. That's the secret ingredient. Now this is just like parm cheese, right? Just like it. So we're gonna add about a fourth a cup in here and we're gonna let this bad boy, you know what I'm saying, melt up. We'll get that bad boy stir. 
and we're gonna let it melt within that corn. And look at that, fam. That's looking absolutely delicious. And then we gotta throw some salt and pepper in there and we ready to go. So we got all that cheese incorporated. Like I said, now we gonna hit this bad boy with some salt and pepper. So you wanna, you know, salt and pepper to taste. So I don't use a lot of salt. And again, the reason being is if you got some people over and they're watching their salt and tape, you know, they can always go back and add more salt, but you can't take that salt away, right? And then pepper, really, I mean, pepper is a good ingredient. It's not gonna add nothing to your sodium level, but it's gonna increase that flavor profile, right? So, so always remember, man, you let your, your guests salt to their taste and then your food is not overly salty. All right, we're gonna let this bad boy cool down and then we're gonna get this bad boy taste test and I'm gonna bring it up to the camera. Ooh, we cheers. That is absolutely, absolutely delicious. I'm gonna give me another taste test of this bad boy. Now that's absolutely fantastic. Now if you have not subscribed yet after you try this cream style corn, I want you to come back with some friends. Y'all hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. And for the people that's been rolling with me for a while, hey, I appreciate you. And tell everybody out there, this channel right here is gonna be a channel that's gonna get your confidence up. Whether you're cooking on the grill or you're in the kitchen, I got you in the game. And until next time, check out my other recipes and we'll see you guys later. Peace. Thank you.